Hello folks, welcome along to the vlog. Next day after laying the drainage, and look at that lot. It looks pretty smart, cleaned it up, and it just needs sealing. It's a bit windy today, so excuse the shutter doors rattling in the background. So yeah, it just needs sealing before it's painted. And you'll notice under here as well, we have some yeasty fellas, because I've just dropped the cones on these four tanks. So I'm just rinsing off the remnants of the yeast, and then we're gonna go over there, and I'm gonna show you it. So all four of these tanks, I've already had a cone drop, That's, this was the second one. And the first one contained mainly trub or trub and this one contains mainly beautiful yeast so if I was harvesting which I'm not at the moment because I don't have any beer for the yeast to go into within a week or two I don't like storing it for too long uh, but if I was then this particular crop of USO5 to me looked fantastic so there we go look we'll just test the drainage does exactly what it says on the tin there and then I'll just hang the spray gun back up on the plate chiller and we'll go and have a look at this yeast so here we have it so this is the cone drop from four fermenters and you'll be able to see the consistency of this little beauty. Quite foamy look. Oh hello. <laughs> Got a splash on the back wall there. But just look at the consistency in colour, not uh, texture. It's absolutely beautiful. I think you could use this for baking or straight back into another batch of beer if we wanted. Look, it's not even reached the drain, the plug hole yet, because it's that thick. Oh, absolutely wonderful stuff. And smelling it, it does not smell of beer. It smells of yeast, just yeast. It smells like a, a bakery. Really good stuff, look at that. It's a shame, really, that it's going down the drain, isn't it? But, that's too hot. C'est la vie. We are beer producers and yeast farmers at the same time. So I'm just going to leave this tap running to help that disappear down the drain. We should, in fact, start seeing it coming out here. There we go. So that's off down to the sewage works. And I'm going to rinse along the back of these fermenters now to remove that little spray of yeast that we got down there. <laughs> 